Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Now we have Leo Laporte back again here over in the living room set. So we had to hold this to the end of the show. We did, yes. Because it's just coming out now on AT&T. I think Verizon's got it. This is the new phone. You know, this is the season. Now we have spring is the season of the new phones, like crocuses. All of they them. They emerge. The HTC, <laughs> uh, the new one, the M8. Uh, any minute now, I'm sure we'll see a Nexus 5 from Google. But this is the one that uh, uh, H I'm sorry, Samsung announced at the Mobile World Congress and Yay. is now out available. Just came out. Um, on uh, U.S. carriers. So you it's, just got this today. Yeah, Galaxy S5. This is an AT&T version of the Galaxy S5. So I haven't had a chance to review it, but what I'll do is I'll show you it and talk a little bit about what we can expect in the yeah, next week. Yeah, give I'll, us the first look. I'll have a review. Um, so this is an example. I think, I think Samsung has gotten to the point now where <laughs> they feel they've okay. perfected it. <laughs> so this is the uh, S4. The S5 is a little bit taller, very slightly heavier, 15 grams heavier, very slightly wider, um, and it's about one millimeter thicker. So it's not so very different from the S4. Let me get it, it out of the box. It's similar, though. But it sure is similar, isn't it? Um, they've added to the battery life uh, a few hundred milliamp hours. Uh, they, of course, have a much faster processor. This is a quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 801, Ooh. same one in the HTC One. Yay. Uh, this was a 600 in the old S4. Can you, I mean, if I put them side by side, I mean, one's black, <laughs> one's white, but it can kind of hardly tell the difference. Right. There is a big difference in the back. Well, I mean, does this well, count a weird. lot? Does, it looks it like a Band-Aid. Yeah, they, they've perforated. They made a big deal about this. There are going to be a variety of other backs on here as well. It comes in a variety of colors. Um, the thing about the S5 compared to the other top-of-the-line phones, and it's always been this way with Galaxies, you can remove the back, remove the battery, get extra batteries, put extra batteries in. Yes. That, that's a nice feature. The other big difference that I'm very curious about is the camera. They're now 16 megapixels, and they've added something that high-end cameras have, phase detection. Not face detection. Phase detection? What is that? Phase detection. It's a better way to focus. So phase detection, uh, focusing is a little bit faster, maybe a little bit more oh. accurate. This, in other words, uh, the Galaxy S5 is going to be more like a, a, uh, a camera. Um, uh, what else is there to say about it? Oh, I know one other thing I wanted to know, and I'm going to do it right now. How much free space? This was one uh, of the unfortunate yes. things on the Galaxy S4. 16 gigabyte phone only had about 8 gigabytes of free right. space. Because you have all the extra pre Because there's so much stuff. Samsung stuff. I, my sense is they've backed off a little bit. Oh, yeah, you notice these are the round icons. We saw those. They're a little bit uh, smaller. And the new quick settings window, which means I'm gonna, it's going to take me forever to figure out where I can find storage on this thing. Uh, maybe that's the idea. Everything is uh, everything is moved around and reorganized. I think, though, the organization, because you can minimize these, is going to make it a little bit easier for people to have the settings that they want all the time. I'm sorry, my head gets in that there. Uh, system is probably where we're going to find this storage. There we go. So let's see. Whoops. Let's see how much free space there is. And this was one of the things that was somewhat controversial. Uh, about the old phone, and then there was some controversy over how much free space there'd be on the uh, on the new one. The so the drrr, brrr, drum, 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 drum. the total space. It's a 16 gigabyte phone. System memory, uh, used space, cache space, 10.93 gigabytes. Wow. So Samsung did do it. They were able to get a little bit more space. Not a lot, <laughs> but a little bit more space on the phone. That means they probably reduced the amount of extra stuff. Actually, they did. One thing they've done is you don't automatically get the Galaxy Essentials. You have to download them from the Samsung store. So that's a good thing if you didn't want Watch On, their TV app. If you didn't want to watch, the, you, you, can un you can install it and you can uninstall it. So I'm, I'm glad to see that. But boy, it doesn't look very different. The S Health Hub is still here. That means this phone can be used as a pedometer, uh, kind of as a Fitbit. Um, and remember, this also has a heart rate monitor now. Right. Um, but you have to stand very, very still to do that. And fingerprint sensor, which is kind of cool. I'll give you a review on that next week. I want to give it time to, to really play with it. But there it is. It's a 5.1 inch screen. Uh, it is uh, still 1080p. That's the Galaxy 
S5, and it's going to be available everywhere. This is the AT&T model. And Ooh. I'll use it this week and give you a, a review next week. Yeah, I can't wait to see your review on it. I'm, I'm glad to see that I'm they're not larding it up the as they did. The camera should be the really the interesting thing yes. here. And that's become a battleground. You know, the, the, the Nokia's, the 1020, the 1520, the 520, those are great cameras, the 920. Yeah. Um, of course, it's iPhone's so great. These days. I'm really loving the camera again on the M8, the HTC one that I was yeah. telling you about last week. So, uh, yeah, that, I'll take a lot we of pictures. We shall see. Yep. We shall see. I can't wait to see it. Thank you, In Leo. Fact, let me start. Next week, you'll see his full review. The full of review. The Samsung Galaxy S5.